Metro is trying to find out who's responsible for firing several shots into an apartment, forcing a family to duck for cover. They say it looks like the bullets were intended for somebody else. 13 Action News reporter Parker Collins has a story of a family caught in the middle. It's the first thing you see when you pull up to these apartments. Bullet holes all over just this one. It's what you can't see out front that's scarier. It's unbelievable, like I'm in shock because like this happened too close to home. I'm counting more than 20 evidence markers in this apartment alone, and the ones that went through the screening just kept going. In the apartment behind this one, you can see where the bullets ended up, in one family's kitchen. One even went into the refrigerator. I'm scared. The only thing I can think about is my kids. Like my, any one of my kids could have been in that pantry. Mom was woken up by the gunfire. Hours later, the close call has her dazed, drained of emotion. I can't live like this. I can't put my kids to that. I'm not going to subject my kids to that. Family rushed to the scene once they heard what happened. I thank God that they're all safe, they're all okay, but I realized it could have been worse, and that's what really worries me. Police don't know why someone would target this apartment. Neighbors say a mom lives here with her kids, but no one was home when the shots went off. Near Owens and Sandhill, Parker Collins, 13 Action News.